Welcome back to another training session. In this video, I want to show you how to access the AutoBit system. Because the first thing that you need to do, you need to be able to access before you can see if the branches have done their check on the AutoBit app. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into your Google Drive. And once you are in Google Drive, at the top, you need to type in www.autobid.co.za and then you can just press enter on your keyboard and it will bring you straight into this screen. Now, this is where you need to log in to the Autobid system. So, the same a username and password that you have been provided with to access the Autobit app you can use here as well. So just make sure that you use the same username and password. If you do not have it, please talk to Mr. Mark so that he can obtain a username and password for you from Autobit to allow you to access the system. And once you've put in your username and your password, you just click on login. Right, and then you are in the system. So for this video, I just wanted to show you what you need to do to access the AutoBit system. Once you've done everything that you needed to do on this system, you just click on log out and you will get back to this page. I also just quickly want to show you how to make a shortcut to this page so that you don't have to continuously type in www.autobit.co.za. When you are on this page, you can just click on the three little dots at the top screen. And then you go to uh, more tools and you'll see create shortcut. So what you can do is then just click on create shortcut and then it asks you to give it a name. So I will just call it AutoBid System and I will click on Create. So if we go back to the desktop now, we will find, I just need to find it somewhere here, there should now be the AutoBit System. There it is. So this is what the AutoBit system icon would look like if you've created that shortcut. So in future, you just double click on it and it will take you straight to this page. And you can then just uh, type in your username and password. Please don't save your username and password. Otherwise, other people can work on your behalf. And if they make mistakes, it's going to show against your name. So don't save your password and username use rather type it in every time that you access this screen right thank you